Hi everyone, Nick here with AbleCine. Today we're going to have a look at the new Tilta Nucleus M wireless lens control system. Now my savvy viewers already know that Tilta has actually been working on this system for quite some time, but this is the first unit that we've seen with finalized features and complete kit contents. So let's dive in and have a look. Like other lens control systems, the Nucleus uses servo motors to control various aspects of the lens, such as focus, iris, and zoom. Where the system differs, however, is in all the myriad control options that it comes with. In addition to a very robust hand unit that you'd expect to find in a normal system like this, the Nucleus also comes with two grips, both of which are equipped with small knobs here for you to allow the operator to actually control the lens themselves. On the right-handed grip, there's also a zoom rocker, which gives the operator the typical full three axes of control. Though the system only comes with two motors, a third can be added to allow for that. All the necessary cables are also included in the kit, and it comes with a nice case with custom pre-cut foam. Additional cabling for run-stop for various cameras is also available. While both the hand unit and the grips can be hardwired for direct control, all three can be wirelessly linked to the motors inside of the Nucleus's impressive 1,000-foot range. All of the hardware and electronics needed to do that is built into the motors themselves, so there's no external control box to clutter up your setup. All associated wireless units can even be configured for three levels of strength, allowing the operator to prioritize signal strength or battery consumption depending on their needs. One of the unique features of the kit is the ability to independently assign control surfaces to each motor. So for instance, one could assign the focus motor to a hand unit for a camera assistant to use while leaving iris in the hands of the DP or operator who's at the camera. One thing to make sure to avoid though is accidentally double assigning a motor to more than one control surface. Sometimes that can cause some glitchy behavior on the motor as it's not really able to correctly interpret commands from two different conflicting sources. When not assigned to a lens axis, unused knobs on the hand unit or on the grip can actually work as a speed adjustment for the zoom rockers, so you have an added level of functionality there as well. If soft stops are desired, the user need only double tap the mark key to mark at the specific spot on the wheel that they want to stop. When they reach that stop again, the unit will give haptic style feedback in the form of a small vibration. This is very useful for when you want to measure to talent but be able to continue to pull focus past the mark just in case someone misses it. No, I'm sure talent would never do that, right? Lastly, Tilta is kind enough to include rosette bracket adapters as well as gimbal attachment adapters, which allow for the hand grips to be used in a large variety of camera setups. Having iris and focus control available as a single gimbal operator is invaluable. And because all of the electronics needed to drive the motors are contained within the motors themselves, the Nucleus is a great option for the lightweight needs of a Movi, Ronin, or Tilta's own gravity gimbal. Overall, Tilta has produced a very promising entry into the lens control space, and to top it off, doing so at a price point that is surprisingly low for what's on offer. For more info on this and other exciting pieces of cinema and broadcast technology, stay tuned to ablecine.com. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.